Hello, I'm Matu Jamir and you're watching on Real TV's Prime at 9, now headlines. Kerala has emerged as the top-ranking state in terms of overall health performance among larger states, while Uttar Pradesh is the worst. Among the smaller states, Mizoram ranked as the best performer in overall performance. Five state elections due early next year are unlikely to be postponed. Election Commission is likely to stick to the schedule as per the constitutional mandate of conducting polls before the end of terms. The East Dimapur GP Union has appealed to state government to create East Dimapur as subdivision. The union said proper demarcations should be made between Dimapur and Chumurkedima so as to avoid boundary disputes. Manipur has recorded first Omicron case on Monday. The variant has been detected from a 48-year-old man from Tera Yemkong, Lirak, who returned from Tanzania. The East Timapur GP Union had earlier expressed apprehension over the proposed villages numbering to 22 to be under Chumukedima district. The village, namely Purana Bazar, Naharbari, Taruka Patar, Pai Pichan, Patampugri, Samaguri, Holohon, Irali Bil, Aoyimti, Igrani Patar, Tubagao, Pamun Pugri, A and B, Tulovi, Purana Bazar, Pukajan, Taroga Jan, Zani, Kushiabil, El Hotovi, Toshihe, Sho, Zukhu, Tomokya were to be ensured that no alterations were to be made to the present position under Dimapur district. The president of the GP Union East Dimapur spoke to Hornbill TV and informed that the government has accepted the memorandum for the villages to fall under Dimapur district. However, he reiterated that Proper demarcations should be made between Dimapur and Chumukedima so as to avoid boundary disputes in the future and also added that an appeal for East Dimapur to become a subdivision was made multiple times in the past as well. Let's have a look at a detailed report. East Dimapur GB Union a memorandum I think month of November. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, it do the uh, Chumu district 22 villages, though Chumu district la under in Apurule, but part of Dimapur. So, it do kill a whole issue. Main to main do this memorandum to the chief secretary. What was the reason behind it that Chumu la under in Apurule? Actually, my canto, it is because Chumu under the Bohibo, Dimapur under the Bohibo, Kwabi no. Holy be. Moi khan tu poila pray Dimapur district under dia se. Aro under city ke ma ESC pura moi khan sai thakishe. Aro manu khan ite bishi confuse kwa se. Chumu giri ma ESC kwa se holi bi home approval kwa se city ke ma ESC kwa se. Aro moi khan tu city ke ma ESC under city ke ma ESC pura moi khan sai thakishe. City ke ma ESC tu chumote head koro chumote bhi thakishe ESC. Tu moi khan chumot district kurbo kwa tu moi khan Jumo district kurboli tu iku apoti nae. Jumo district tu moi kan pi poila pura guase district kurbo koli iku apoti nae. Holi pi jumo district kurboli tu PP ma pura PP ma pura jai ke na sovi matak jumo district kurlo bi. Aro sovi ma pura niche de green park niche de tu moi kan pi dima pura kurbo lagya. Ki karani moi kan tu dima pura district pura creation kura se. Aro dima pura district tu Aku no thagli itu tu sabli biya. Itu karani moy khan tu Dimapur district pula prabi Dimapur district kase. Ite bi Dimapur district te buhi bo koi jene itu memorandum liki se moy khan. Tu itu government of Nagaland Chief Minister Nipiriyo aro Sir Jacob Minister Dimapur district in charge tai khan prab. Itu moy khan likha tu tai khan accept kur dia tu bishi khushi. Oli bi tati e boundary ek ta olap galti kura tu aro moy khan Boundary nimte moi khan koi thaga tu. Morompura Green Park niche te tu. Kiki holi bhi tu Dimapur district te hal di bolai. Aro Dimapur district aro chumogi ne ma district boundary dispute no ho bo nimte. Sovi ma ja la rasta Green Park itu duida majete rasta ja se. Tadhe bra 
নিউ মডুল ভিলেজ ইটুপরা পাটকাই নদীতে আহিব ইটু লাগা রাস্তা পুরা বাউন্ডারি করে কে না ইটু নিচে দিয়ে তো ডিহুবার উপরা নিচে দিয়ে তো পুরা ডিমাপুর ডিস্ট্রিক্টে যাবলে দিলে ভাল ইটু মই লাগা রিকোয়েস্ট ইটু আছে আর মানে এখান ইস্ট ডিমাপুর তো স্পেশালি ইস্ট ডিমাপুর তো মানে এখান পয়লা ই এস সি থাকছে হলে বি ইএস সি পরা বি ভাল পরে কেন মানে এখান চাব নপরে আর দানসুরি নিচে দেবি মনিসিপল হয়ে যায় আহি কেন মানে এখান ভাল পরে চাব নপরে এডপ্টেড নিচিনা থাকি যায় মানে এইটার কারণে মানে এখান তো ক্লিম করা আছে ইস্ট ডিমাপুর লাগার সব ডিভিশন দিব লাগে পয়লা পরা বি হোম টি এই লিখি কেন আছে মানে এখানকে সব ডিভিশন দিব লাগে কই কেন হলে বি এটা তাক এই একু জব পাওয়া নাই হলে বি মানে হোপফুলি আছে এটা ডিমাপুর ডিস্ট্রিক্টে ইস্ট ডিমাপুর তো সব ডিভিশন মানে এখানকে দিব লাগে আর ইস্ট ডিমাপুর বি ভাল পুরা ডেভেলপমেন্ট কারণ আগে যাবলে করবল দিলে ভাল আছে কই না এইটাই রিকোয়েস্ট আছে আর ইস্ট ডিমাপুর আপনি খান সব ডিভিশন হলে কীটা মেমোরেন্ডম দিছে মানে এখান এই দেওয়া তো বেশি সাল হয়েছে এই এই তো দেওয়া তো মানে এখান টু থাউজেন্ড এরাউন্ড টু থাউজেন্ড পরা দিয়ে কেন আছে আর মেপ পি পুনাই কেন দিয়ে কেন আছে হোম টিভি সাবমিট করে কেন আছে আর ডিমাপুর ডিস্ট্রিক্ট প্ল্যানিং বোর্ড টিভি এইটু মিটিং করে কেন এই ফরওয়ার্ড করে কেন হোম টি দিয়ে কেন আছে হলে বি টিল ডেট একু জব পাওয়া নাই ইমান সাল হয়ে যাইছে হলে বি এটা বাউন্ডারি তো ঠিকঠাক নকর কেন ডিস্ট্রিক্ট করা পিছে দিয়ে পিছে দিয়ে মিস আন্ডারস্টেন্ড ওলাই যায় এই নিমতে মানে লা রিকোয়েস্ট তো রাস্তা এই সিধা আছে এই তো সবই মহপুর সবই মহপুর পরা যাই কেন পি পি মাতাক ঝুমকিনি মা ডিস্ট্রিক্ট করে লবি আর সবই মা নিচে দিয়ে গ্রীন পার্ক নিচে দিয়ে তো এই তো পুরা ডিমাপুর ডিমাপুর ডিস্ট্রিক্টে হালি দিয়ে কেন ইস্ট ডিমাপুর করে দিলে এই সবচেয়ে ভাল আছে ইস্ট ডিমাপুর আন্ডারতে কোয়া নিচিনা মানে এখানকে পেলা প্রায় এই ইমান দিন পুরা ডিস্ট্রিক্ট প্ল্যানিং বোর্ড পুরা ফরওয়ার্ড করে কে না সব ডিভিশন করবো নিমতে ইমান ফাইট করে কে না আছে এটা তাক একু একশন লই দেওয়া নাই এই তো ডিমাপুর ডিস্ট্রিক্ট আন্ডারতে ইস্ট ডিমাপুর তো সবচেয়ে পুরানা টাউন আছে কব কইলে হলে বি মানে এখান তো একু সাব ডিভিশন পাওয়া নাই এই সাব ডিভিশন তো মানে এখানকে জলদি করে দিলে আর সব ডিভিশন আপগ্রেড করে দিলে একদম ভাল আছে আর টাউন তো করে দিয়েছে হলে বি টাউনশিপ এটাই আছে হলে বি কোন এডমিনিস্ট্রেশন পি ভাল পরে কিনে মানে এখান চাবলে নপরে এইটার পরে মানে এখান পি ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট একটা এডমিনিস্ট্রেশন থাকি কেন মানে এখানকে চাইলে ভাল ও এটা এখান দেওয়া তো টোয়েন্টি টু ভিলেজেস তো এই ডিমাপুর আন্ডারতে আছে ডিমাপুর ডিস্ট্রিক্ট আন্ডারতে এইটু দি কেন আছে হলে বি মানে এখান রিকোয়েস্ট তো টোয়েন্টি টু খালি টোয়েন্টি টু ভিলেজেস নহয় কেন এইটু চে কিয়া থিলিখ ডিফুবার এ বি আর এইটু গ্রীন পার্ক নিচে তো এই তো ডিমাপুর ডিস্ট্রিক্টে হাল দিয়ে কেন আন্ডার ইস্ট ডিমাপুর করে দিলে একদম এইটু ইন ফিউচারতে বাউন্ডারি কনফিউশন নহব নিমতে এইটু ভাল আছে গিয়ে কিনে এইটু রিকোয়েস্ট করে তাই এখান এটা তো বাউন্ডারি তো ইটু আছে কে কিনে একজেক্টলি ওলা নাই এইটু নিমতেই মানে এখান পি কনফিউশন করে আছে এইটু নিমতেই মানে এখান কোয়াটো বাউন্ডারি তো ডিস্ট্রিক্ট একটা করবলে তো বাউন্ডারি ডিসপুট নকরব নিমতে রাস্তা নহলে নদী না ইটু করছে কলে ইন ফিউচারতে জেনারেশন জেনারেশন যাইলে বি এই একু কনফিউশন নহব হইলে বি বস্তি দায় না বাই করে কে না ডিস্ট্রিক্ট ওলাই দিলে এইটু নিমতে নাগা নাগা ভিতরতে মিস আন্ডারস্টেন্ড ওলাই কে না পিছেতে মারা মারিবি হয়ে যায় এইটু নিমতে ডিস্ট্রিক্ট এটা চুমকিতে মার ডিস্ট্রিক্ট ক্রেশিন করা আছে এই একদম ভাল খুশি কথা আছে হলে বি এই ক্রেশিন করা তার বাউন্ডারি তো ঠিক থাকিব লাগে এইটু তো এখান একজেক্টলি এটা তাক মেপ তো ওলা তো মো দেখা নাই তাই এখানে ওলাইছে না ওলাই নাই তো না জানে বাউন্ডারি তো এটার পরে এটা আছে কে কিনে এটা তাক মো এখান লোক এনওসি Kerala has again emerged as a top ranking state in terms of overall health performance among larger states while Uttar Pradesh is the worst according to the fourth health index launched by the Niti Aayog the fourth round of the health index took into account the period of 2019 to 2020 reference year the report by the government think tank said Tamil Nadu and Telangana have emerged as the second and the third best performers respectively on health parameters. The report however added that Uttar Pradesh ranked at the top in terms of incremental performance by registering the highest incremental change from the base year 2018 to 2019 to reference year 2019 to 2020. 
Among the smaller states, Mizoram emerged as the best performer in overall performance as well as incremental performance, while among Union territories, Delhi and Jammu and Kashmir ranked among the bottom UTs in terms of overall performance but emerged as a leading performer in terms of incremental performance. The report has been prepared in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare with technical assistance from the World Bank. To talk about the performance of Nagaland, we have our senior reporter, El Muli, joining us from the newsroom. Thank you so much, El, for joining us again. Hello, Atu. Right, so moving on with this discussion, I would like to know, uh, you know, could you please tell us something about the, you know, uh, the performance of Nagaland in this Niti Ayok Health Index? Uh, this is something that we have been talking about for some time now. The social media is full of them. Uh, the websites, especially from the regional news organizations, they are carrying a lot of stories about Nagaland's performance and the improvement of Assam in the health sector and their performance. And this is something uh, I think that will remain with us for a long time because uh, we are talking about a national level report that identifies the loopholes that that projects the personality of a state's health sector and its performance to the entire country. And I think uh, it doesn't really feel that uh, right. It doesn't really feel encouraging when you have a report like this and telling you that the state has underperformed again. Uh, right now, uh, the fourth edition of the report is out and here Nagaland is at a part uh, like they're just Nag Nagaland we have underperformed in fact we are not really performing if you look at a report and we're at the bottom uh, according to the report uh, Nagaland is actually uh, one of the two least performing states least a, a improved states and the report was based on on the health infrastructure, for example, health facilities and their personalities, and through which uh, the report was compiled to give a picture of the condition of the health sector in a particular state. For Nagaland, uh, the report has given us about 0 .0 0 0.1, 0 0.2 in the overall performance index, which is like at the very low bottom of the, of the list. Uh, Mizoram, they have performed a little well, uh, but comparatively, if you look at the categories, bigger states, smaller states, and the union ter uh, territories, the performance of Nagaland and Mizoram, they're still at the bottom, of course, with uh, UP. And so far, we don't have any indications from the report that we have performed uh, that, that exceedingly in, in the domains of service, especially. Infrastructure, yes, uh, there are some good points in there where uh, it speaks about the government's injecting investment to build the infrastructure, but services, no. Right, so could you also tell us about the key indicators that led to this outcome? Yeah, uh, uh, that's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very wide if you look at a table of contents listing out the criteria and the parameters on which the government actually judge the performance of the state. Uh, there are about 20 to 30 in in indicators here, Atu. And there are a lot of them. It, it ranges from birth registrations to health facilities, the condition of infrastru health infrastructure in a particular state. It talks about immunization coverage also. And it also talks about even institutional deliveries of babies, like how many babies were delivered in hospitals instead of at homes. So d many, many factors were taken in, in, into account. But the, uh, but the basic parameter here is that the government took into account all the structural conditions, the services quality, and of course the health demographics that the state is catering to. As you've mentioned, there were different categories to this when they you know, actually judged Mm -hmm. the states on the basis of the performance so it was mm. on the larger states and then the smaller states and union territories mm. and when it comes to the larger states Kerala has been on the top for mm -hmm. like four times now so what makes it what the uh, I mean the health system in Kerala how does it uh, you know how is it different from the other states and what sets it apart sets it apart yeah, uh, uh, that's also another question that is being asked on the social media. What makes uh, Kerala that special that you stand at the top of four consecutive reports? And uh, I do think it's very surprising if we look at the history of uh, investment in the health sector in the state. 
the, the, the state and the condition of Kerala's health, health infrastructure, for example, and their health sector is amazing. Uh, for instance, uh, I, I cannot really point out a particular factor that makes Kerala special, but there are many, many factors which make the state uh, uh, which makes the state the highest uh, highest performing state uh, among the country uh, among the states in the country in the healthcare sector for example uh, like they have a very very deep emphasis on the education of girls uh, at the primary level and their uh, the budget of the government for example is highly highly incentivized and also when you look at the budget of the Kerala government in the health sector, it's, it's more than any other states in the country. They also have a general willingness, especially for the policy makers and even the voters and the citizens. They, there is a general willingness for both of them to work together in identifying gaps. And I think this is one of the most important uh, factors determining uh, the performance of Kerala. When you identify a gap, it's not that the citizens they actually go for the government's trot. And if the government identifies a gap, they don't really neglect it also. There is a general willingness for both the sides, the citizens and the government, to identify the gaps and uh, actually work on it together. It's more than just infrastructure or budget here. I think it's about the people, the community and the government working together too. So when we look at the data provided here, we can see that Assam is in the list of the most improved states when it comes yeah. to larger states. So what are the changes that have come about in the health sector in Assam? Uh, like I said, uh, the, uh, the report is just a highlight of, of the general performance of certain states in certain domains of services in the health sector it does not say oh you have you have the best you have the best health services in the state so we are going to put you up there on 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 the top no there are many many factors that is influencing the outcome of the states and their performance in the health sector here for example even assam we we cannot really pinpoint to different different uh, reasons or factors that that can really exemplify why assam is one of the most improved states uh, in the health sector. It jumped from 15 to 16, which is a big leap for a northeastern state actually. But there is one uh, specific reason uh, why Assam is leaping from uh, from point 0.15 to point 0.16. And the, the performance index is about 5.0, uh, no, f sorry, 0 0.4 in the uh, performance index, which is higher than any northeastern state here. One of the reasons why Assam is improved over the past five years is because of the government's investment in the health sector alone. Um, in in 2012-13, uh, the government of Assam spent about 1,539 crore, out of which 1,350 1, crore was spent on medical and public health, and only rupees 185 crore was spent on family welfare. This means that Assam invested more in health services than in welfare schemes. So they're putting more emphasis on infrastructure, they're putting more emphasis on doctors and their salaries and services and operating theaters. They are not giving out schemes here. Their investment is in the services. And even in the budget for 2016-17, the government allocated 3,994 crore for health and family welfare schemes alone. So it, it tells us, it does not tell us uh, how many hospitals Assam has or how many doctors they have or whether their services are good or not. It only tells us that the government is investing in this sector in uh, more than they do in any other sector in the state. Also, El, do you happen to have any data on the investment made by the Nagaland government in the health sector? Uh, yes, no. If we are to compare it to the records that have been given in uh, the uh, in the NITI annual report, uh, I don't think we have any comparative numbers right now. And I think for the number uh, for the number uh, regarding Nagaland's investment in the health sector, I think we'll have to look a bit uh, further later on in the discussions. Right. Thank you so much, El, for joining us today. Thank you, Artu.
Now moving on to the next news. The Communist Party of India, Marxist senior leader and Polipuro member Brinda Karat hit out at the centre for setting up a panel to look into the withdrawal of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act from Nagaland and said the law should be withdrawn immediately. Speaking to ANI here today, Brinda Karat said she believes this committee is an excuse to delay what is urgently required to put it on the back burner because what has happened in Nagaland, there is a legitimate outrage not only in notice but all over India. This this law provides the impunity to criminal acts by those in uniform has to go and unfortunately this government refusing to accept the legitimate demand said Karat. Constituting this committee means putting the issue on the back burner said Karat. The centre on Sunday constituted a high-level committee headed by a secretary rank officer to examine the possibility of lifting the controversial Armed Forces Special Powers Act in Nagaland. The committee was being set up three days after Union Home Minister Amit Shah held a meeting with Chief Ministers of Nagaland and Assam Nipurio and Himanta Biswasama respectively. The panel will submit its report within 45 days. Five state elections due early next year are unlikely to be postponed, as sources said today. The Election Commission is likely to stick to the schedule as per the constitutional mandate of conducting polls before the end of term of assemblies. Goa Assembly's tenure is to expire on March 15 and Manipur Assembly's tenure is to expire on March 19, while UP Assembly's tenure is still May 14. As Omicron cases rise, the Election Commission held a meeting with the Health Secretary over the upcoming polls. The Election Commission sought details on vaccine coverage and Omicron cases in the state that will vote, sources said. The Election Commission also discussed the need for strict COVID protocols and Omicron cast a shadow on the poll process, sources said. The Commission had already visited and reviewed the poll preparations in Goa, Punjab and Uttarakhand. The powerful poll body also meet with the chiefs of paramilitary forces on deploying forces during the polls after meeting Union Health Secretary on Monday. Children in the age group of 15 to 18 years will be able to register on the COVID app from January 1, said COVID platform chief Dr. R.S. Sharma. Vaccination for children will start from January 3, 2022. Amid growing concern over the new COVID variant Omicron, Hyderabad-based vaccine manufacturer Bharat Biotech's co-vaccine on Saturday got approval from the Drug Controllers General of India for emergency use for children aged between 12 to 18 years. The vaccine manufacturer had submitted data from clinical trials in the 12 to 18 years age group for co-vaccine to Central Drug Standard Control Organization. Bharat Biotech had said earlier that the data was reviewed by the CDSCO and Subject Experts Committee and has provided a positive recommendation. This makes Covaxin the second vaccine cleared for use for children in India. Earlier, ZDS Kadila, three-dose DNA vaccine was allowed to be used on adults and children over the age of 12. Meanwhile, the Omicron infection tally has climbed to 415 across the nation. However, out of total Omicron positive cases, 115 have been discharged. So far, a total of 17 states have reported a Omicron infection, the Union Health Ministry said on Saturday. That's all we have for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.